Hi gorgeous soul, welcome to your June astrology and it's not bad, not much drama this month but it is the calm before the storm because July is literally crazy. Anyway, this month has a lot of potential for us to go within and transform things. There is one dodgy little thing, well tell you about that in a minute, here's your monthly astrology. Hey Sagittarius, this month kicks off with a new moon in your relationship zone. So you are clearing out the past, you are clearing out the decks, there's a new cycle for you when it comes to your intimate relationships, your romantic relationships, all sorts of partnerships and you're determined, probably or potentially determined, to see the beauty all around you. If there's been any problems, you're able to let go of it now. If a relationship isn't work it, working, you might find that it ends. Uh, but that's a good thing because it's the only ones that are ending are the ones that are not working and not right for you. So you're able to also work on your relationship with yourself, build a positive partnership with yourself and move forward in a positive way. It gets very intense. You're diving deep. You're diving down, down, deeper than down as we have Mercury going into your primal zone. It is full on. You are feeling things, you are sensing things, you are seeing the chinks in other people's armour. You're looking in someone's eyes and you can tell where, where they're coming from. Superficial charm will not work for you, but also you gotta watch out because you are particularly charming and charismatic and can be very persuasive. Don't be tempted to manipulate, don't be tempted to do anything to have power over someone because ultimately that is bad karma. We also have Venus changing signs and go, going into, what did I just say? Oh yeah, Mercury, blah, blah. Right, Venus is shifting signs and going into your relationship zone, making you a love magnet, also making you or giving you the vibration of being able to love yourself, work on your relationship with yourself, see compromise and have empathy for the people that you're intimately involved with or connected to, and you should be much more optimistic about relationships this month than like, oh, you know, I can see where you're coming from and you're open. You bring beauty into the relationship. You want to be in beautiful environments with your partner. Uh, you want everything to be loving and balanced. We do have a mutable grand cross. Now, I'm not a patriarchal astrologer. I can't stand that patriarchal astrology that says the moon's not important. The moon is supremely important. So I'm including the moon in Virgo in this and it's again it's all about your relationship your relationship to yourself your relationship to other people there may be a battle that's going on internally within within, <laughs> within you that you have to find balance with and that you're ignoring and you're pushing it to one side if that is so it it really really comes to a head and really brings out some intensity for you um Mars is trying Neptune, which is allowing you to also find the way forward when it comes to a family problem. And you may find that there's something positive happens there. Also, if you feel that somebody's been bullying you, if you feel that somebody has been marginalizing you or disempowering you, you do the work and come into yourself and find your way forward with that. You have a very creative or spiritual solution to the problem. The full moon is in your sign. Yes, that is a peak experience. Something that you've been working on is coming to a head. Something is rising. Um, if you haven't been doing what you need to do, you'll get a very clear message from the cosmos or from your unconscious about what you have to change to reach the peak that you want to reach. But it, you have a little bit of magic on that full moon. It gives you um, some extra kind of juice Hold on one second. We also have the sun shifting signs and going into your primal zone on the 21st, further enhancing your charisma and your ability to deal with situations. Although do avoid being obsessed or jealous or kind of too intense in a situation or too naughty because it can make you go to extremes. Finally, Mercury is shifting signs and being in a place that you're very comfortable, you feel very open, you feel very wild, you feel very free with what you've got to say, but be careful that you're not too blunt. Let's see what the tarot has to say. If you're not into tarot, just switch off now. You are not losing anything. You are only gaining if you listen. Thank you, and I'll speak to you soon. And if you're into tarot, let's see 
what the tarot has to say. I'm just looking around for where that noise is. I don't know if you can hear it. I think it must be the heater. So someone's going to go and turn that off. Okay, Sagittarius. 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 Right, Sagittarius, first card. It's all about the balance this month. If you find the balance, it's like an, um, a magical elixir, a magic potion within you when you find your balance. And it, it really pushes you forward. Something's happening that you have to keep your eyes out for that's important this month. It may be a small thing, but the wheel of fortune is turning and it's, there's a change coming which is going to impact your soul journey. And it actually, use your intuition or maybe even consult someone who's a, a wise person, a wise woman, an intuitive that will have help you connect with your own wisdom and answers or delve into your own wisdom, because this is a very important card. It means, and actually your astrology would back this up, you're seeing things deeper than usual. And through that, you will move forward. You may be tempted to do something impulsive and, and you'll just sense it's the right thing to do. Other people might be going, what are you doing? But you like know that this is the right thing for you to do and you leap forward. Yes, there may be some situation this month that feels like a betrayal. Um, could be something to do with money. So I wouldn't lend anyone any money this month. And if someone owes you money, well, you might find they can't pay you back immediately. But you know what? It doesn't matter because you're the magician. You're starting, a, you're starting a new path. You've got all the tools to create your reality and move forward. You have power and juice within you. And also there's a very strong soul connection coming up this month it may be a friend it may be a lover but you're linking in with someone and it feels amazing they might be a water sign actually cancer Pisces, or scorpio uh, but whatever it is it's beautiful and you, you're definitely coming to a crossroads i would say within yourself externally or externally you're seeing a revelation and through that revelation there's no going back anyway take care gorgeous come and visit me on instagram at michelle knight or visit me at michellenight.com where you have a free compatibility chart, free natal chart with all the details. It's not just the chart wheel, it tells you everything. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Mm -hmm.